Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another James E Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over how to pass the CompTIA Network Plus on your first try, not only on your first try, but do it in the fast manner. Because nowadays, everyone's trying to get certified quick and get pretty much get a job quick. So I'm going to tell you guys in this video how to pass on your first try and some fast methods to actually study and pass the CompTIA Network Plus. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you do enjoy. I'm almost at 2000 subscribers, so hopefully we can hit that mark soon. And yeah, guys, um, join my Discord as well. Um, if you guys want to join a community of people trying to get certified, get into IT, even just people trying to be nerds and talk about IT, join the Discord. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the CompTIA Network Plus is an entry-level networking certification. It'll go over basic networking uh, knowledge pretty much. It's a vendor neutral certification. It is about $370 to take this exam. It is 90 questions, 90 minutes. Along with that, they have performance-based questions in the exam like most other CompTIA exams. If you're not familiar with performance-based questions, I'll explain that here in a little bit. They recommend that you have nine to 12 months in networking. I personally disagree with that prerequisite. Um, you should probably know what computers are and a little bit about what a network is, um, but the Network Plus teaches you about networks, so don't worry about the prerequisite. To pass this, you need a 720 out of 900. It's a little uh, below what it normally is. Normally, it's like 750 to pass, so 720 to pass this exam. It has five modules pretty much in the exam. Network fundamentals, network implementations, network operations, network security, and network troubleshooting. So pretty much a broad uh, spectrum of things you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to, ma uh, how to make networks, how to subnet, things like that. You're going to learn some binary. It's not fun, but once you learn it, it's actually not too bad. And if you're someone who's completely new to networking and you just want to get an IT help desk job or some sort of IT job, I would 100% recommend this certification to you. Um, people uh, sort of compare it to the CCNA. It is comparable, but in my opinion, the CCNA is a lot harder to at least learn. It'll take a lot longer to study for. So this certification is a pretty good broad overview of networking, and I think it's pretty essential to at least get some networking knowledge if you're getting into IT. So now let's get into the study material. I'm going to break it up into free material and paid for material because obviously a lot of people don't like paying for things, and I understand I'm personally that way. Um, or at least if I do pay for something, I don't want to pay as much as... I, you know, don't want to pay for a lot. I don't think anybody does. So I'm going to throw a YouTuber out here for a great study method. So we're going to study methods, practice tests, and then exam tips. So the first thing, which is the most important, is how you're going to actually learn the content of the Network Plus. Um, a free course on YouTube, which I would recommend this if you're not sure if you want to take the exam, or um, just at least try it out before you buy something, because this guy could teach you everything you need to know and you don't have to pay a penny for the study material. Uh, Professor Messer is a well-known CompTIA pretty much uh, instructor, pretty much. He has a YouTube channel with multiple different courses on different CompTIA exams. I know he has one for the Security Plus. I'm, I believe he has one for the A Plus as well. Really well-known. So I would check him out before you buy anything else just to at least see if you like his content before you buy anything. Another one I'll throw out here, which this is a little iffy, but he is another YouTuber that I watched while I was learning networking, um, especially subnetting. His subnetting course is great, uh, Network Chuck. He does videos more catered to the CCNA, but in my opinion, if you know how to do the CCNA exam, you'll know how to do the Network Plus. He has some videos about networking and they're really, um, they're pretty interesting and he actually does a good job of not only teaching it, but having fun while teaching it. So he's someone to watch for sure. Now we got some paid for study methods. My number one pick is going to be Udemy, uh, Jason Dion's Network Plus course. I've taken J a few of Jason Dion's courses, and I got to say he is one of the best and instructors for CompTIA certification. So if you're going to pay for something, get the Udemy course because it's really cheap to actually pay for it. It is about $15. I'll have a link in the description with the coupon attached to it so you don't have to pay because when you go on Udemy, it'll say it's about 100 bucks. Do not listen to that. If you make an account, you can actually get it for like $15. So if you use the link down below, there'll be a coupon code that you can enter to get that discount. Um, Udemy, it pretty much is, I think it's like 30 hours of content, which is about right. I'm not sure what Professor Messer's, uh, how long the total course is, but 30 hours is not a whole lot of time for a certification for at least the content. I personally watch Jason Dion on 1.5 to two times speed. That just might, that, that might be because I think fast and I don't know. I get bored sometimes when I'm watching a slower video. So that just might be my preference, but that is something that I did. 
Another thing you can do is some boot camps for CompTL. This is a very generic study method, but um, they're pretty expensive. Um, but a fast method would probably be Udemy and watch those videos relatively quick because he also has practice tests after every module. And there's also um, a practice test at the end of the course, which is a full 90 questions. And I've, I don't know if there's performance-based questions in them. There might be, uh, but it pretty much simulates the exam. You can take that and see how you do. If you do well, you know you're ready for the exam. His practice tests are slightly harder than CompTIA's exams, which is a good thing because it gets you more ready for the exam. And uh, once you take the CompTIA exam, you'll be like, these questions are not as hard as those questions. This is a slower study method, but um, books are a great resource for if you, if you like reading. Um, I personally don't use books very much, but there are two that I will recommend. The first one is the Cybex Network Plus Study Guide. They make study guides for a lot of CompTIA exams. I know they have them for the Security Plus, the CYSA Plus. I'm sure they have them for the other exams. That's going to cost you about $40, um, so $15 for the Udemy course, $40 for the Cybex books. I'll, I'll have everything linked in the description just so you guys can find it really quick. Um, and the next book that I'm going to recommend is there is a book that has the Network Plus and the Security Plus st uh, study guide. So if you're planning on taking the Security Plus in the future, that might be the book that you want to get, especially if you're a reader. Um, I believe it's about $30. I forgot to write down the price, but it's it's a little cheaper than the Cybex book. Um, but I have that down below as well. So that those are some two books that I would recommend to people who want to have some study material and like reading. Before we get into the practice test, I just want to also mention, if you want a free study method, I'm going to tell you ChatGPT. I know it's very generic. ChatGPT is a great study method because if you're confused on a topic, you don't have to search through Google for like 20, 30 minutes just to find a slight answer to your question. ChatGPT usually gives you the exact thing that you want. You can say, oh, what is subnetting? And why is this question correct? Especially if you have practice questions and you don't know why you got it wrong. Ask ChatGPT why that answer is correct, and it'll give you a pretty good summary of why you know that is correct or any topic that you want. Even practice tests. If you don't want to pay for practice tests, you could say, hey, give me 10 practice questions, 50 practice questions under this module of the Network Plus exam, and it'll spit out all those without any question. So me personally, ChatGPT is a huge study method, and that's also a good way to study fast because you don't have to search on Google for all these answers and all these topics. You just get a straight answer from AI. Now we're going to get into practice tests. Um, examcompass.com is a really good uh, practice test website. Um, 23 practice tests for the Network Plus. Um, I believe there's about 20 questions in each one, so it's a little over 400 practice questions for that. That's awesome. Another one I'll have linked down below is Josh uh, Matacors. Uh, study set for the Network Plus, over a thousand questions for uh, this uh, Network Plus, but it has it under each module. So you can click one module and say, okay, there's 200 practice questions for the first module. So it doesn't really, I don't think it randomizes it, uh, but you can pick which module to go to the practice questions. So if you're struggling in one module and you want to get more practice, that is something that you can do. Now, if you want to pay for a practice test, I, once again, I'm going to recommend Jason Dion's Udemy course. It is, I believe, $13 or $14 for the ad addition of the uh, six practice tests that you get from him. So the six practice tests are 90 questions long. So that is nine, uh, six full CompTIA certification exams that you can take for $14. There's also a ton more on Udemy that you can look at with the link down below. You can look, you could search any Network Plus study uh, or practice questions and there's many of them out there. I'm sure there's ones that have like thousands of questions. So you can also look on Udemy for some of those if you do want to pay a little bit. Now, other than that, another free resource you can call it is just look up on Google um, any practice test. There's so many out there. There's websites with thousands of practice questions for the Network Plus. So I would personally also do your own research and Google some of the other sites if you do run out of practice questions or if you want to try something new. But like I said, ChatGPT is also another good one, but some of the sites on Google are more catered to what's actually in the exam. Now we're gonna get into some ex exam tips. When you're actually in doing your exam, whether it's online or at the uh, whatever place you go to take your exam, here's some study tips for the CompTIA exams. This is usually applicable for a lot of the CompTIA exams. And you've probably heard me say this before if you've watched me before. Process of elimination is how you should be going after this exam. Even when you're doing practice tests, do process of elimination. Let's say there's four answers to a question. If you read the question once, you see the four answers. Usually the first thing you can do is eliminate at least one or two answers, which turns your 25% odds into, you know, 33% or 50%. So if you get 
two of them knocked out, it's it's between two answers, and usually they're going to be like relatively close, or one answer might be slightly correct, but the other one might be a little more correct. So once you do the first process of elimination and get one or two answers knocked out, I like to reread the question more carefully and see, like, let's say they say, oh, what is the best thing to do in this situation? Or what is the most effective thing? Look for those types of words because what, two answers might be correct in some sense, but one might be more correct for that scenario. So like I said, process of elimination is the best thing I can uh, give you to, for CompTIA exams. And the performance-based questions, uh, hopefully the uh, you would learn how to read network topologies and how to see how ne uh, traffic is routed between networks, within networks, things like that. You'll learn all of that in the courses. So if you do study and actually retain the knowledge, you should be fine on the performance-based questions. Because networking has a lot of topologies in the modules, so you'll be pretty familiar of how networks work, look, at least in the logical sense. Um, but performance-based questions are pretty much, they're not configurations. They're more so just like giving you a picture or a scenario like a real world scenario and you have to pick certain things to do to solve that situation pretty much there are some performance based question practice questions on youtube there are some youtubers who post that um, so look up on youtube comptia network plus pbqs um, i'm sure there's some youtubers i know i saw one um, i'm not sure what his name is but you can look that up on youtube and get immediate practice questions for free so i would absolutely do that two other things i'll say before closing off this video is know your osi model and you're going to get taught it know the osi model and how uh encapsulation de-encapsulation de works and how the layers work and the uh, pb uh, pb pdus of those layers for example physical layers bits uh, data link is frames things like that and know what type of network uh devices use each layer for example layer three network which would be a router layer two data link would be a switch things like that make sure you know what each layer does um, because you will get asked those types of questions the last thing i'll say is know your subnetting a lot of people don't and or if they do they learn it for a second and don't practice it learn subnetting it'll save you when you're actually in the field as well because reading subnets and how many hosts can be on one subnet the next network Things like that, you'll learn all of that in the course, but know how to subnet because I'm sure there's going to be a lot of subnetting questions on your exam because that's something that uh, certifications like to uh, test on is subnetting. So definitely know how to do that. So yeah, guys, that is all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed and you guys are still watching, you should hit that like button and subscribe. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, which is awesome. This channel's growing pretty decently, so I'm happy about that. And I'm happy to help people out uh, get certified and get into the IT. Comment down below if there's anything you uh, want me to answer, any questions, or you could join the Discord and ask in there or DM me, things like that. Um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Jamesy e Tech, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.